Mullins Ranger is, is uh, made up of three uh, small villages, uh, Boris, Rahanna and Ballamurphy. We only have a panel of about 25 to 30. We concentrated when we went, got out after the county final. We wanted to give it a, a good crack. We ended up playing Bally Bowden in the semi final in, in Dr. Cullen Park. And, and we were focused for that game and we wanted to drive on from there and, and things went right from us that day. We, we had a bit of luck on our sides and, and it worked out and brought us into the Leinster final. Um, a lot of people didn't give us a chance. The first half wasn't great. It wasn't great from both sides. Um, but we, we stuck with it. We were two points down at half time and we knew we were still in the game at that stage. And, uh, we wanted to push on and, and, and the second half we, we just dug deep and, and cut out the chances and, and took our own chances. Um, we, knew, we knew it was going to be tough, dogged, dogged conditions. We're facing an experienced team, a quality team, so we just had to be focused, be ready for that game and, and work hard through it. And it kept, did come down to the wire at the end of it. She put the order to get shoes, which she cleaned, which she had a trash on. Thought she had a trash on, because he scored to Torek Nolan. Everyone was talking hard. Not alone in our own county or town, it's, it's throughout the country, no matter where you go. Carlo hasn't uh, been at the top of the ladder on, on any occasions, but the last big win was 70 years ago, 1944, the Leinster football team, and it's, that's a long time ago now, and I think this will be a, a massive achievement. <laughs> to win an All-Ireland club final with your, with your own group of players, your family, we grew up with, it's, it'll be, mean everything.